right, today uh, we'll work on uh, A, B, C in our uh, asymmetric uh, projection. So we're going to use isometric uh, grid. Okay, so this is a pre-made. Uh, in other lessons, we talked about how to create this. Uh, so 30 degree, right? So if I uh, just briefly recap, uh, if this is a three, then that's length should be uh, six, right? So always twice uh, wider. Okay. So all I have to do is just use another paper and then keep using the same thing again and again. If you want to draw uh, them in here, that's fine. But to save time, it's always convenient doing that way. So we're going to start with the really basic. Um, so I'm using, uh, if you look at the previous lessons, there's a, a lessons that how we did uh, using uh, isometric uh, grid, but we create a letters that flattening out. But this time we're going to make everything stand. Uh, so this is more uh, challenging because you got to uh, deal with the multi-level. But if you have a grid that you created, it's really simple. All you have to do follow uh, is what's in the grid. Right? So simple box. Right? And... go so I can create a using one right. and there's a a okay and same thing so three boxes so I'm creating three and B is always complicated. If you can do B in any uh, any letter that ap comes after, you sh will not have any problems. So we haven't made the side yet. Okay. So we're going to create a side block for us. But the thing is, uh, we're going to be uh, cutting out. Since this is a basic, we're not going to do curve yet. Uh, make sure that you know how to do the uh, straight lines, just like what we did in the one point and two point practice on uh, making it straight first. And then when you become comfortable doing it, then you can uh, tackle these. And there. And here. And here. Okay. And then parallel to that. Parallel to that. Since it's a top, we can just all uh, need to connect the, to the corner. Right. That will be the top. Missing anything? Nope. So erase parts that we wouldn't need anymore. Right. And then here's the parts, and we're gonna connect this diagonal lines. Now after you do this, you can see that it's all uh, finally three dimensional. So depending on where the light source is, this will be changing. Remember, if you when you are doing the uh, perspective drawing, you follow the perspective uh, vanishing point to draw the um, the shadow. But this, all you have to do is follow the boxes, right? 
If the light is coming from there, then your shadow will join this way. Right? Light is coming from there, then your shadow will join this way. Right? In vanishing point, because of the vanishing point, it gets wider as it further goes away. Right? So if I, uh, let's say, coming from here, usually the top left and top right uh, is the uh, light source the most of our uh, designers use. So if I follow that, this part will get uh, dark, right? And that part will get dark. And this part will get dark, right? Uh, any parts that goes out, you can just uh, use the eraser to clean it later. So just initial uh, light shading, so you can see the how the structure goes much more clearly. Uh, this part is a little bit lighter. Right, and this part should be a little bit more darker. So just a slight value. And if this is the case, then your uh, shadow will join this way. Right. So if I tilt it a little bit, so I can uh, shade it a little bit easier. And your shadow is going to draw this way. Right? And your shadow will draw this way. Let's say if I do two boxes, then your shadow will be include that. Of course, because of the uh, parts, this needs to get dark too. And that needs to get dark too. Right? So practice and practice how to do it until you have a, a good spatial relation. Um, and once you do that, uh, you can just picture these things in your head before you uh, start drawing it. So all these exercises are trying to uh, help you to uh, draw things inside of your head. Okay, so practice and practice. So you can all uh, come up with the better designs.